I, mean, I think I hit level 23 last night uh, before I hopped off. So I am a uh, level 23 warlock with demonology spec. Um, so we'll see how how this plays out and everything, but should be interesting to say the least. So last, last night I was a little bit lost because we went back to the scouting map and everything there. It says that I, I have a mission on the scouting map, but there was none at all. So then instead I pulled up the achievements tab and in there, um, oh shoot, I forgot. Uh, we should probably check, let me check wow up because there might be some, uh, patch updates for uh, some of the add-ons. Seems like they've been pretty up to date with everything, trying to, to patch things out so that way they're working properly. But we can check it out. Supposedly, I, I saw a thing on Reddit too, um, but apparently now you can actually update and add add-ons while the game is still running. You don't even have to update or change it, close it out, anything. You can just straight up uh, add them in there. Okay, so everything's up to date right now. Um, right now, so mods that I'm still using, technically, I'm not really even using like Bagon uh, or Bagnon. I'm, I'm not sure how you actually say it. Details I'm not using, recount. I am world, using World Quest Tracker. Um, Deadly boss mods and LVUI. Some of these I probably don't even need, but also later today is the CD Project Red um, night thing. So night city wire. What time is that at? Live stream here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I saw that they just went live, so I want to make sure that. So I do want to check that out later today. Uh, it doesn't say. Watch it on the 15th. Oh, okay. 12. So literally an hour. Oh, that's why they just went live. Hey Siri, set a timer for 56 minutes. Six minutes. Nice. Nice. All right, so 56 minutes. Uh, we'll pull that up. And yeah, we'll check that out. It's only like a 25 minute thing usually. Um, I want to see it because it looks like they're going to show off more footage of like vehicles and like the, the freedom that you have for that. So it looks pretty cool in that aspect. Um, auto. Isn't there a auto? Yeah, auto turn in. So how does this work? Um, images, daily, quest to handle, auto accept and complete, daily or any quest, auto repair as well, how does this one work, repair items, with auto repair you don't need to click repair all ever again, it just automatically will do it, okay. Uh, speedy auto loot. Do they have? Well, we can try both. Cause I remember I used to have a patch when uh, or a uh, an add-on back when I originally tried playing well. There was one where I would go to a quest person, and it was just spacebar, and I'd hit spacebar, and I would go through it. Um, but we can we can try it. Let's see, so then if we go to add-ons, they I think they might actually be in here. <clears throat> Details recount, maybe not. Maybe you do have to restart it. I saw somebody say that you don't have to if you add new ones.
All right. Uh, I guess we can log out, maybe. Exit game. All right, we'll just exit. Re reopen it. What's the harm in that, right? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this this weekend. Um, starting what the sixteenth. Tomorrow? Uh, is it tomorrow or Saturday? I think it's Saturday. Is um the Black Ops Cold War open beta? So I'll probably check that out. I don't know what the plan is for Saturday right now, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, now let's check out add-ons. Oh, there it is. Wait, was it there before? I didn't even see it. <laughs> if it was, I totally missed it. Okay. So now if we go to interface and add-ons, auto turn in. Quest to handle all daily, except uh, we can do all. Quest with the re rewards, don't turn in. Loot my most expensive. A reward, loot by parameters, equip received reward, heal battle pets. Oh wow, you can go even more in depth. Jeez. Huh. Interesting. That's actually kind of cool. Quest auto sharing. All right, so we can see if this works first um, and how like quick it auto does everything for you. So now that we've got those out the way, um, so the two things we need to do is the shadow over angle point and Norwington Estate. So <laughs> just by looking at the area, Norwington Estate is right here. And I know where's the angle point. It might have been over somewhere nearby, but this one, I don't think we need this guy. Norrington Estate. Oh, um, it's up in the, the top left, I'm pretty sure, like up in this area. Somewhere like something like that. We'll pick up these quests finally. <clears throat> Spit it out. Nice. Okay, that's actually not bad. Hey, this guy we need to kill. Oh, wait, I already did that. Okay, so we've got uh, one out of six ancient protector slain, and then there's also, it looks like two quests inside here. And it's interesting, the, um, the quests now show the level next to it. Pick up this, and this. We need to use this ability on this guy. Aha! Dust relic. I see now. That's why it has the little icon next to it, I think. First Raiders freed. I'm a druid, not a priest. I need to get closer. Invalid target. said that one was a correct target, but all right. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it's just on the, the cursed raiders. I don't know why it's telling me to use it on the big guys too. Yo, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? Good morning, sir. Are you excited? 
for one hour one hour man do you know what it is i'm sure you do i'm curious though let's see let's see yes sir okay yeah yep you know <laughs> yeah i'm gonna check it out um i didn't know it was so early today i thought the last few ones have been like pretty late I think it's going to be interesting because it's going to be uh it looks like it's going to have a lot of t content with uh or show content with like vehicles and like how they work and stuff so i'm looking forward to that the sound effect volumes i'm going to turn this to medium yes sir let's turn it right there Uh, and then actually at one o'clock as well, I'm going to check out the, uh, it's not going to be long because you can supposedly only do one mission, but I'll still like take like an hour maybe, uh, to check out the new mission in Avengers. Um, cause it's only one mission per day. But there will be a new outpost, so that'll be cool to at least check out. But something to do, you know. I ran uh, the game last night without a browser open, without with a browser open, with uh the software that I use for streaming to my other PC. I, I tried testing it out as much as I could. And even with that, I was still able to hit the uh, the frame rates that I wanted to. So hopefully, if everything goes as planned, then it should be okay. Made a demon hunter a few hours ago and leveling him up. Nice. What, um, what expansion are you doing? Or are you just sticking like with the basic guy? Started off in Legion, nice. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping that, um, I s I've seen that most people have been able to get through everything within one day, or not one day, but within 12 hours. So if I spend like six hours today <clears throat> playing this game then i should be able to finish um leveling this character to i mean right now i literally just hit 25 so i've gone up two levels in the last 20 minutes already because i was 23 pretty sure i was 23 when we started today um so okay defend firebreaker i see I don't know if we'll actually finish BFA all the way through, but supposedly that's what people are saying. So we might be like just there, especially since I'm a noob and everything. But after that though, I definitely do want to make one <clears throat> and do the same thing to uh, Legion. Try that out. It, they, they just look like such a cool character to me. Um, I know that they're mainly melee, and that's like usually typically not my style when it comes to MMOs, but honestly, Star Wars, like playing Star Wars, I know a completely different game and everything, but that game opened me up to uh, being more willing to play melee characters in MMOs. Jesus Christ, what the hell? I don't know what's going on this morning, but... But yeah, uh, there's that. Uh, awakened guardian slain. I need five out of six. Did we just hit 26? Oh, no. Okay. Where is the... Oh, it's up above. That's why. Uh, when you when you made a 
character it started you off in legion or when you made a uh, demon hunter huh uh i'm wondering if i should go to hand this in we're right here so might as well right there's that not bad oh shit Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I would honestly play. <clears throat> After that, at least. Ah, oh, shoot. My, uh... I have my guy set to defend me. So he went and attacked all these people down there. There he is. Luckily, he's pretty speedy when it comes to uh, movement, so he came to my rescue. Not bad. Uh, I don't think we're going to need this one. His collect scrolls. I never really do them. We can guardian and then meet somebody at the okay. So this is pretty much the last thing we need to kill Not bad I guess you could say it's not bad <laughs> Stupid so dumb There's that all right, cool. I Think we handed in all the ones down underneath us now we just need to walk out oh yeah so last night uh bed i went to this uh the place the steak place Aww. for dinner number one all right so let me talk about that real quick so basically it's called fogo de chow the chow de chow the chow i'm not sure exactly how you say it but it uh i've never been there before my dad's been there but um i guess he didn't remember much of it so the way it works, because it's COVID and everything, is usually it's like a buffet where you go up and um, you grab what you want. But then when it comes to like steaks, they bring them out on like a slab of like, uh, like they stab it in and then they, they're like, would you like a piece? And you take your tongs and you grab it and then they slice it off for you. So they start cutting it and then you grab it and they finish cutting it and you put it onto your plate and dude they like we were never we've never been there for like myself or anybody else so they like bum rush you like no joke like literally we sat down we were like yeah we're gonna do the full thing and they're like okay and some lady comes over and she's like would you like uh like asparagus broccoli blah 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 and like i'm thinking it's a pre-made like cup and that they give to you and they're like all right here you go but no, it's like, I was like, okay, I'll take some asparagus and broccoli. And she just takes it off the plate and puts it on yours. And then right after her, like two seconds later, another guy comes over with like a giant thing of steak. And he's like, would you like some? And I was like, sure. <laughs> and then he just, it's constantly like, boom, next person, next person, next person. Would you like some? Would you like some? Would you like some? It's almost like a, like a marketing like thing. Uh, like event where you go and they just like put everything in your face but the good thing it was really good like once you get used to it though like then it's like okay now i see how it was but like the waitress that we had didn't really explain it well at first so like we were so confused and like when the lady that came over with the like broccoli and like asparagus she was like oh did you guys want that and then we were like oh we didn't order yet and then but apparently that's like since we said we wanted to do the full thing that is like the starter so like they come over and then they ask you what you wanted and then uh and that so uh <laughs> it was weird at first but it was it was really good like the steak that they had bro oh my god some of it was literally probably the best steak i've ever had but i don't know if i would go back <laughs> The food was good, but shit, that's that was expensive. Probably like the most expensive meal I've ever been to. 
so uh it was an experience though i mean it was cool what type of steak was it they had everything from like uh so i'm not like good at like telling the difference between steak but like everything that they had was like super tender and like good um but they had everything from filet mignon to new york strip to bacon wrap steaks to uh bacon wrap chicken to uh uh like prime like whatever the like top steaks that they had it was there and they all like like when i say bum rush like i mean bum rush like they literally like the one person came over to the table and like they have like a it's like a um imagine like a giant fork but just with giant steaks through the center so then they ask you like they cook each one differently or they cook different sides differently so like the right side might be like medium or like rare the middle might be medium and then like the left side is more like medium well like that type of thing so when they come over you say yes or no and then they ask you like what kind and then you'd be like oh, for me like i'd say medium and you'd be like okay and then you start cutting and then you take your tongs you grab it so that way you can hold it and then they keep cutting the slice off and then you just put it onto your plate and that was so good, man. Like, the, I don't know what the one was. Like, the filet mignon that I had was pretty good. Um, but there was one that this guy brought over that was, like, so good. It was, like, one of the first ones that I had, too. And it was, like, banging. <laughs> what did the kids say? It slapped? Bro, it slapped. <laughs> It was good though. Um, it makes me want more steak. My uh, my girlfriend Rachel, she doesn't eat too much steak though, so like, I think it was a little much for her and everything. But uh, she, I mean, she had some stuff that she liked. They also have like lamb and other things, but. I was me and my dad were like we were digging in man <laughs> like every time they came around we'd be like okay yeah yeah I'll have some I'd have some and then I got to the point where I was like I had like three like small pieces on my uh plate and I was like dude I, I can't do it anymore I'm done I'm checking out or the sides so the sides they brought out like generic things um they had like these little cheesy bread um but they're more like, uh, like croissants, croissant, however you say it. Um, but they're supposedly they're cheesy bread and we didn't even know they had that. They had like mashed potatoes. Like these were like little plates that they brought out and they just put it in the center of your table. And then like, if there was something specific that you wanted more of, they'd come around like halfway through and they'd be like, okay, is there any like type of steak that you want us to bring to your table? Like specifically, or do you want us to just like keep coming? Um, so, so that, but dude, it was so good. Um, they didn't really have a lot of sides. I think majority of it is really just like, okay, you want steak, we're gonna give you steak because it's a brazilian steakhouse so it's like okay they're gonna fill you up on that nah they, i don't think they had fries at least we didn't order any they didn't have any like like pre-made brought to the table it was like a no no rice either it that's the thing i think it's literally like meant to be like just a bunch of steak and like other uh i don't know sides maybe but mainly just say steak i don't know unless if like we missed out on something but it was literally just mainly steak and uh mashed potatoes is like what i put on my plate 
I need to find these little guys. I go over there and fill on flame and yawn then. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you could say that. <laughs> I'm sure that's what like plenty of people do. They, I'm sure they always like say, okay, uh, not nah, just bring all the filet mignon every year and get like four or five pieces and just eat that. It's the type of place that you don't want to eat anything during the day. So that when you, that way, when you get there, you're like actually hungry and then you can just feast. You know. And I didn't, luckily, or well, I kind of planned it, like, kind of, sort of, not 100%, but I, I planned on, like, not eating too much during the day, so it worked out for me, but worked to my diet if I ever go there. <laughs> well, that's the thing, like, if you're... I don't know what, what kind of like diet you do, but like for me, if I want to do or go back to like 100% keto, that's like literally all you eat is steak, burgers, like cheese, uh, whatever you want really, <laughs> as long as it doesn't have like carbs in it. So I was thinking like, dude, this is literally, if I had stupid money, like I had stupid stupid money i like go there like once a weekend and just that's all i would get this steak just eat that Be like all right time to go make my scheduled uh weekly thing talk to a waitress be like hey can you set this up so like i have an appointment every every friday night at seven o'clock <laughs> not actually if i was stupid rich i wouldn't actually do that but it would in theory it sounds good That'd be too much of a hassle, having to do that every week. They do do a uh, pickup, though. They got one in Florida. <laughs> I don't know how many there actually are of them. Might need to take a trip there one day. Might, you might, man. Might be worth it, too. Uh, let's see. Oh, we did get some new armor. Yeah, here it is. Crossbow, we can't even use that. Your spells and abilities have a chance to grant you 34 mastery for 84 seconds. Store 2% of your maximum mana whenever you kill a target that yields experience or honor. All right, what's our objective? Get a bunch of things here. So we need board toss, uh, pelts, and uh, shoot some falcons down. We got just about 30 minutes until uh the thing aha uh -huh. okay so we need to look for these little mounds too oh what <laughs> do my bidding Oh, the one just disappeared. What? Are the foxes the ones that stay over the mound? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, I'm getting like a million emails and notifications today. I need a target. Okay. Uh, we've only gotten one soft pelt so far. There's another guy. 
5595 for the continuous service you have it last night. Yep, that was it. <laughs> Sounds about right. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I think we got cuz if you go on your birthday, you get like some extra stuff. But I think there's like a possibly a discount or something. But it's not much when you compare it to like if you go with like uh, three or four people. <laughs> Literally. What can I do for you? What else do we need now? Uh, slain a okay. Wait, why is it all the way back there? Huh. Wait, is that one of the... Oh, no, that's not. There's a falcon. Aha. I need an AOE ability. I don't have many other than like this thing, but it only works like sometimes. Or it only works uh, when I have the right amount of uh, soul shards generated. Gotta keep an eye out for those falcons, man. There's a bunch of, oh my God. <laughs> Get down here, you. Wow. <laughs> Almost got all of them. There's one right there. Oh my, I thought that was another one. Oh, look at the little, aw. Oh, look at him go. Hunting hound. <laughs> Why is this guy following me? We got all the boar stuff. Okay, cool. So now we just need the pelts and... Oh shoot, I forgot that these things attack. Dude, I always keep try trying to use this ability and it doesn't work sometimes. The... Demonic strength. All right, we almost have him. Almost have enough for that. Cool. We want need one more hawk got down. That should be it right there. Uh, and then now we just need pelts. There's a mound right there. Just need two more. And then we can run to the back and grab the... Uh, other all right there's one one more just one more where's another mound there's one Let me heal up my companion There it is, five out of five. Nice. Finish him off. 
what'd you get for your birthday in regards to presents um so pretty much i i have an amazon Am amazon an amazon uh wish list so i was like i don't know like i don't really need much um but i was like all right if you really want to get something like here you go uh so they kind of actually went through that and picked up a few things so like i got uh, a sweatshirt that's a project rock one a um another under armor shirt a uh marvel characters encyclopedia so it literally has every it's a giant book but it has every single Marvel's character uh, from and big event and stuff. And it has like a bio, like where they're from, how they got their powers, like some information, like it's crazy. So it, it's huge too. Um, that, the funny thing is, so I was asking for a tablet because I apparently xbox game pass like right now it only works on like samsung devices and things like that so i was like i well i don't really need this but like whatever maybe and apparently my dad had one that like he never used that he got like forever ago so i was like oh okay and uh yeah so he gave that to me and then um that was pretty much it um they did, I am getting a new, uh, a new headset to the Audio Technica's M50X, I believe it is. Um, that was on there as well. And, uh, they told me that they ordered it, but it wasn't, it hasn't came in yet. So I was like, damn, okay. That was like the biggest thing like I could ask for. And then they went above and beyond but then also like this the other thing i think one of the reasons they went above is because like this is technically the last um like this time next year hopefully as long as everything goes as planned um i'll be in hawaii because we're getting me and rachel are getting married uh in october so then it's gonna be it's october 10th and my birthday is on the 14th so we would like to go to Hawaii for like uh, 10, 10 days or so for our honeymoon. So then my birthday would also be spent there. And this is also the last birthday single, you know. So it's kind of like, a, okay, well, next year we're not going to be able to spend it with you type thing. Because, <laughs> yeah. So. That's the, uh, that's the plan, though. Hopefully, uh, COVID and everything's a little bit more, um, in, uh, controlled oh, and stuff, God, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, Jer. I, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Keep calm and carry on. That's the plan, man. I, I've gone to Hawaii uh, technically, well, technically three times. I don't remember the first one because I was like three years old. But um, I've always wanted to go with like a friend or like a uh, significant other. So that way we can do what we want rather than going with your family. Going with your family is fun and all, but, you know, it's different when you go with, with somebody that you're See to your like really, 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 really close with other than family. So, um, yeah, gonna get married there too, or nah, just just honeymoon. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Everything and uh, everything is getting done by us already. We already got place and literally everything, for the most part, planned out. We're getting engagement photos and that kind of stuff uh, later this month, so that should be fun. And then, uh, yeah. All I'm going to say is shit's expensive, man. 
but we're trying to it, see the thing is we're both like casual so we're kind of seeing it more of like a party rather than like a giant like wedding type thing that like everybody else throws like we're going out of out of traditions 100 percent we're making it more of like a chill laid back like friends have a good time like celebration type thing like like that you know <clears throat> and that's how we both want it to we don't want it to be like anything like people shouldn't be stressing about it or whatever like at the end of the day we're we're just there as like people to have a good time and celebrate you know <laughs> we all but we all know the real celebration is going to be in Hawaii. Yeah, right. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> oh, man. I might make, make some coffee when, uh, the, right before the cyberpunk event. Hot shot found. Or hot shot. To the party with the fam. Cheer, cheer, hooray. Then hop on the plane and throw up the deuces. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Peace out. Hey, town. Peace up. Hey, town. <laughs> Uh, okay, we, yeah, we can go up here. And this is a lot over here. I say love having a pet in this game to do all my bidding. Boom. I don't have a target. I don't have a target. Uh, so I think we need everything before we can hand it in right there. I mean, one day I'll settle down and until then I'm just going to have fun. Yeah, no, nah, I totally get it. It's like, I don't know. I've just always wanted to chill, you know, I, I'm tired of worrying about like that kind of stuff. So I've just always been more like, yeah, I just want a friend <laughs> and a partner, you know, that kind of stuff. I hate these scrolls missions. I don't know why they give you them. Link Cauldron, uh, then here, Boneface, going down today, Boneface. Too much drama? Yeah, no, I totally get that. No, thank you. <laughs>
Nice. Free the kid. Weak side to stop it again. Twenty-seven. Ooh, baby. I think we've leveled up like four times today already. Implosion. Demonic forces suck all the wild imps toward the target and then cause them to violently explode, dealing 75 shadow claim damage to all enemies within eight yards. Ooh. When I started my demon hunter, they started me out at level nine, which was nice. Yeah, I remember seeing that actually. Um, I think some of them start out at higher levels and stuff. Can I do this yet? Or do I still have to? What do you need? Unidentifiable. Okay, yeah, I see. I still need the two more. Uh, stone soup soup stone and a few more other things <clears throat> I need to find a uh, trader that I can hand things in at Let me hydrate a bit I need a target a poultry <laughs> Stirring bone. And I on I don uh, unidentifiable meat. So in order for this to work, you have to have the these guys out. And then now we just need to kill the bullies. Like that. Aha. Uh and bully and free the trapped guys. Okay. Is there one that's potentially closer? Who is this? Oh, Mug. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do this. Still need one more bully, but we also, oh wait, no, we got all of them. I can take this out. What's that? Do you know what I, what server you are on, Ben? Bringer, I think. Okay. I'm on uh it's Wimrest Accord.
Is it, you know what else is kind of cool? It's not too bad having different characters on different servers now too, you know? Because now it's so easy to create characters and level them. Like, to play with other friends. So, like, it's not the the hardest thing. To make your so that's, that's actually something I just didn't realize until right now. I don't know if there's any better pathway to get there, so. Uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Meet Lord Arthurus Norrington at the Norrington Estate. Very well, very well. It will be done. Dad says sometimes big people get scared. We've traveled far and wide, but we're finally... Hey, you got yeah. stuff to trade? Keep the wind in your sails. Eat, welcome to the Norwington Equestrian Festival. Uh, we're still setting up, but you must participate in the festivities. I won't have it any other way. <laughs> okay. Is there a, uh, there, oh, there's a flight master up here. Seems to be a cool area. Ooh. Oh, there it is. There's that. Aw. Look at that doggos. <laughs> Innkeeper. Yes. And. I'm gonna need to clean up my bags here. So much stuff. We're actually doing pretty good on gold though. Like I'm I'm actually kinda impressed with that. I was nervous that like we wouldn't get a lot, but turns out you actually get a good amount. Sir. Uh, let me browse your goods. Get rid of this. That. That. Yeah. No, you can't. Can't sell that one. I don't think you can sell that either. Yes. Did he have anything good actually? Let me see. check. Fire level 45. Oh wait, I think that's bugged though. I think you can still buy. Finest wares and cool terrains right here. Appreciate your patronage. How have I gone this entire time and I still don't have a shirt? How does one get a shirt in WoW? <laughs> oh, 
All right, uh, I'm gonna play it safe and just like log out right here. And Baldur's Gate has a new patch, it seems. I did see that they have, uh, uh, they've been patching in a good amount. Like new content or just like a new patch? I'm assuming just a new patch. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna log out right here. Get ready for the Nightwire thingy. And then uh, we'll continue.